S'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about travel and technology. And today I have a travel review for you of some amazing new luggage that I recently purchased and I have already used a few times so I can tell you about my experiences. But before we do that, I also wanted to announce the E3 giveaway winner, which is Patrick Bud. Patrick said, loved all the E3 videos and it looks like you got some great swag. That Borderlands mask was pretty cool. The detail on it made it look like it was ripped out of the game. Thank you for putting out such enjoyable and informative videos. So Patrick, thank you so much. I will reply to your comments so you know how to get in contact with me so that I know that it's you and I can send out your swag. But just in case you don't check the replies to your comments on that previous YouTube video, this is also how you can get in touch with me. And for everyone else, make sure to stick around and subscribe because I do giveaways all the freaking time. So this is not the last giveaway you are going to see on my YouTube channel. All right, let's get to my review. So first off, if you are interested in purchasing these items or any other items from this brand, I do have my referral link below. I purchased these out of my own pocket. However, anybody who purchases them can create their own referral link. With the referral link, you get $20 off and I also get $20 as a referral. I do plan to invest in this brand more in the future because I do like them. Uh, so if you do choose to use that link, it would be amazing and it would help me however you don't have to. So the two products that I am reviewing today are the Carry On Suitcase by AwayTravel.com. The brand name is Away. That costs $225 in blush. And I also got the Everywhere Bag in blush leather. This one starts at $195 or $325 for the leather version. I also got their packing cubes in blush because they matched and those were $45. Bucks. So, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the carry-on suitcase. This thing comes with a lifetime warranty and it comes with a beautiful handy canvas bag. So if you choose to store this thing in your closet or wherever you have, uh, then putting it in the canvas bag will probably keep it nice and fresh and clean over a longer period of time, especially so you don't get dust on it and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to discuss is the construction of the suitcase. It is very nicely constructed. It is very durable. Uh, on the bottom you have four wheels. Those four wheels are 360 degree spinners. They're Hinomoto spinners. They're very smooth, very quiet. However, I will say if you are going over tile in an airport, they're still going to make some noise. So don't expect them to not make noise if you're going over some kind of environment like tile with grout. They're still gonna make noise. The one thing uh, that I did not like with this suitcase is the handle and you will notice that it's kind of flimsy and kind of wobbly whenever I move it around. I feel like they should have made a firmer handle on this carry-on suitcase because this one does have a little bit of give. With that said though, it does have two different locking heights, which I found to be extremely useful whenever I was pulling this thing through an airport, depending on how I wanted to pull it at the time. And also it comes with that lifetime warranty. So if anything was to ever happen to the handle, they would replace it or they would fix it. I did also want to mention the zippers and the lock combo on here. The zippers are YKK zippers. They're durable. They're really clean. I haven't had any issues with them getting locked up or losing their traction or anything like that. The TSA combo lock is actually really, really nice. So this one is very easy to manage. It's easy to set your own specific code. It is a TSA lock, so of course if somebody has 3D printed the keys, then they, they can still gain access to your suitcase. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use the TSA lock, but I ended up using it anyway. Um, most specifically because I like locking the zippers in place so that they're clean and they're out of the way. The nice thing about this TSA lock is it's flush. It's clean with the luggage case. So if you do lock them away, if you lock your zippers away, nothing's going to pull it, nothing's going to damage your suitcase if it ends up getting snagged, because it can't get snagged. Now, Away does also mention that this suitcase is scratch resistant. However, it does pick up a lot of scuffs. 
Uh, this color, especially the blush color, does pick up a crap load of scuffs. Uh, but they do say that you can get rid of those with Magic Eraser. So we're going to try that out right now and see if it does get rid of those with Magic Eraser. I'll put this thing back up here. The shell is polycarbonate. That means that it's flexible, it's durable, it can get squished but it won't break. It won't end up with cracks on it, at least it's not supposed to, but if it does, they will replace it. They say it's indestructible. I don't know about that. I have jumped on this thing and I've made it flex in. I've made it basically like fold in and then pop back out. I've put way too much stuff in here and then it had to flex outwards. And so far so good. It always pops back into place and it doesn't seem to have any any weak points, I guess you would say. So is it indestructible? Probably not, but so far I have not been able to destroy it and I have seriously tried. Now you will notice on the website that they have two options. You can either get a battery or get no battery. The battery is 10,000 milliamp per hour, so if you do want to get that one, you will get a few different charges on your smart device before it dies and you have to recharge the battery itself. I did not buy the one that has a battery, and here's why. One, because if you don't buy the one with a battery, you get a little bit more room inside your suitcase and your suitcase weighs a little bit less because the battery does weigh a little bit of ounces. The second reason is because technology grows and changes a lot faster than I'm going to be switching out my suitcase. So because I intend to keep this suitcase for so long, it's a lifetime warranty, I plan to keep it for as long as I darn can before I actually replace it, which probably won't be for a very long time. I don't wanna be stuck with a battery that is like five years old in the future. Here's the thing, from their pictures on the website, while it is 10,000 milliamp, you can also carry on a battery that is around 20,000 milliamp per hour uh, into an airplane. That is the FAA limit that they allow on airplanes. So you could bring on double the capacity in a separate battery if you wanted to. Also, if you check this bag, you have to remember to remove the battery every single time you check it. And also, if you look at those pictures again, it uses USB 2.0, which is an older version of USB. Now, if you have a newer device, a newer smartphone, for example, then you will notice that you're currently using USB-C or maybe you're on an iPhone and you use Lightning. In my case with Android, I'm using USB-C. I can get the fastest charge possible if I have a device that is USB-C to USB-C. I know because I purchased one on Amazon that batteries are currently available with USB-C charging, which means I can get fast charging with a device that is even smaller than the battery that comes with the Away bag. I would much rather have a battery that is in my purse ready to go that can run much, much quicker and charge my phone a lot quicker than having a device that is installed in my suitcase that charges slower. So that is my reasoning for not getting the one that has the battery installed. Obviously that is only my opinion. If your opinion differs, that's totally fine. The one with the battery and the one without, they cost the exact same price. So it doesn't really matter to me which one you choose to purchase. Now for the interior. You will notice that there is a zippered compartment for storing things like your shoes like your bathroom products, like your souvenirs. And it also comes with this little guy, which is a flat compression pad. This thing buckles to compress clothing into that open side of the bag. And then you can buckle those two buckles at the top and the bottom to kind of squish it down. And you can also put like documents and stuff like that inside of this little zippered compartment on the front of it. There is also a hidden laundry bag, which is at the bottom and that is water resistant. I love that it includes a laundry bag on the bottom of it. It's something that's very simple, but it's something that you use every single time you travel. And oftentimes if I forget to put my own laundry bag in a suitcase, then I have to use like a plastic bag, which is really annoying. The exterior measurements of this are 21.7 inches by 13.7 by 9 inches, with the interior being 20 inches by 13.5 inches. The weight is 8.1 pounds and the capacity is 39.8 liters and those measurements do include the wheels on the bottom of it now that is the perfect size actually the larger one is the perfect size to bring on a airliner so you shouldn't have any problems bringing this smaller carry-on onto like international flights european flights 
um, smaller jet sets. However, if you're bringing it on American airliners like United, uh, Southwest and those, then you can bring the larger carry-on on those for sure. Now, in my experience with this away bag, I have not had any issues with it yet. It is very durable. I've been able to toss this thing around. I've been able to toss it onto the TSA security belt with no issues. It hasn't broken open. I've had no issues with the zippers snagging or the TSA lock not working. I've had no issues with the handles breaking or anything like that. Oh, and it does come with a luggage tag too. I didn't mention that. There's a little black leather luggage tag that you get with it. However, I use a Sailor Moon luggage tag, so I never used it. <laughs> I also like that you can clean it, so you can keep it looking fresh over time and it still looks beautiful even if you've used the thing for like years. And it has a lifetime warranty, so... Why not? Now the other item that I've just purchased recently and I wanted to show you as well on this video is this new Everywhere bag, which is in blush leather as well from awaytravel.com. Uh, this comes with a series of different colors. They currently have like a limited edition color. There's a bunch of bright colors available of the suitcase too, which are limited edition. So you have a bunch of options as far as colors go. You don't necessarily have to get the girly pink one like I did, uh, but I wanted this because it looked really durable. It looked big enough and it slides directly onto the handle of your suitcase so you don't have to lug this thing around on your shoulder or on your back. So this thing is designed to slide easily over that handle of any away suitcases. However, it's also going to slide over any other suitcases in their handles too, not just away suitcases. Let's be honest. And it sits rather comfortably on top of the suitcase. I had no issues thinking that it was top heavy and that it was going to fall over. No issues whatsoever. So I had no problem just like sitting a frappuccino on top of the suitcase and on top of my bag and feeling like I was going to be just fine if I walked away for two seconds. The other thing that I was looking for in a bag that I could take with me on all of my trips was something that could fit my 15 inch gaming laptop. Now a lot of times online companies will say fits a 15 inch laptop but what they're talking about is a nice flat MacBook Pro or something like that. They are not talking about an Alienware like this one that has a whole bunch of different uh, angles and things like that that can get caught on your zipper. But I tried this, I tried my Alienware and it fits my 15 inch Alienware inside this teeny tiny bag, even though the charger is gigantic. But I just unplugged the charger and put it, you know, in a different pocket. So it works great. I'm so happy that it actually fits my laptop. I can edit on the go and not have any issues about where I'm going to put my my machine. On the bottom there's also a waterproof umbrella pocket which is really cool. There's a removable shoulder strap that does have padding at the very top. I really appreciate that it has padding because that makes it very comfortable to hold if you do want to carry it on your shoulder. There are a couple of exterior pockets. There's a small one in the front and there's a zippered one where you slide it over the handle. I like the one that's zippered because I can stick my phone and my passport and all those good things right back there and have it in in this zippered compartment which is very easy to get to also means it's protected as soon as I like take it from the security person at TSA stick it in there slide it onto the belt and I know it's not going to fall out while it's going through the security machine for example on the inside there's six different pockets so you can organize all of your goodies inside all of those different pockets and there's also a little keychain loop that you can put your keys on so that they don't get lost. Now, if you are experienced with flying on Southwest Airlines, for example, which is my airliner of choice, you know that if you get an aisle seat, the room that you have underneath the seat in front of you is fairly limited. However, I did sit in the aisle seat and I noticed that this fit directly underneath the seat with no issues whatsoever. It's almost like it was designed perfectly for those kind of seats and for that under seat area. So I had no problems with this thing fitting under there and I still had room for my feet. So as far as the specs of this go, the one I have is leather. However, you can get canvas, for example. The size is 16.3 inches by 7.3 inches by 10.2. The capacity is 20 liters and the weight is 3.4 pounds with the shoulder strap or 2.8 pounds without it. The top handle drop is 7 inches and again it does fit that 15 inch laptop. 
which is awesome. Now I did mention the packing cubes before. Honestly, they're just simple packing cubes. You can really get whichever packing cubes you prefer. The only reason that I really like the ones from Away is because they fit perfectly inside of my carry-on suitcase. So that is my 2019 updated travel options for suitcase and carry-on bag that I have been loving and I've been taking with me all summer long. I absolutely am satisfied with these and I can't wait to do more upgrades and get the rest of the line of Away suitcases because I do intend to get the larger carry-on for some of my international trips and I also want to get one of the really big ones so I can take that with me to Japan and buy everything that is Sailor Moon in all of the stores because that's what I do. I take an empty suitcase and then I fill it up with Sailor Moon stuff while I'm in Japan. Don't judge me. Comment below and let me know if you are using any other brands and if there's anything that I should check out or if you use Away and you are satisfied like I am. I'm definitely a happy customer and I intend to be a customer for a very long time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Again, my name is Shannon Morse. Thank you so much for watching and congrats again to my E3 winner. Look out for future giveaways. I will see you next time. Bye!